This is the Greek Word of the Day with James Gregory. Hello there and welcome to the Greek Word of the Day. Today we have glossa. Glossa. The genitive is glossis. It is feminine using E, the definite article. What does it mean? It means tongue. Literally, the tongue. Figuratively, uh, it means language, a body of words and systems that make up a distinctive language. Now, if you think about uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, Gandalf says something about a foul tongue language, right? About Mordor, the language of Mordor, or something like that. I can't remember quite right. That's exactly what we're talking about here. Language. Uh, so it could be the organ of speech, the tongue. It could be language, a body of words and systems that make up a distinctive language. Uh, it can be an utterance outside the normal patterns of intelligible speech and therefore requiring special interpretation, such as ecstatic language, ecstatic speech, or tongue. Um, and this is a reference to 1 Corinthians 14, 1 Corinthians 12, 1 Corinthians 13, Acts 10, Acts 19, where it's uh, without the article. It's some sort of strange speech of persons. The phenomenon, as found in Hellenistic religion, is described especially by some scholars. Um, Celsus, who, what, sec second century, right? Something like that. Uh, the origin of the term is less clear. Two explanations are prominent today. One holds that glossa here means antiquated, foreign, unintelligible, mysterious utterances. The other sees glossolalia, glossa meaning tongue, lalia, laleo, to speak, so to speak in tongues. Glossolalia, a speaking in marvelous celestial languages. So you got to make the choice. Which one is it? Um, you can reference various uh, scholarly viewpoints on it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's kind of, those are the two theories about it. And uh, that's it. That's today's Greek word of the day. Glossa, tongue, language. Super simple, super easy, right? Well, hey, come back again tomorrow. We'll have another Greek word of the day for you then. Cheers.